guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Brittany Marie for those of you who do not know. Today I just want to talk to you guys about the new Make It Forever Artist uh, palettes in one and two. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about number two, formerly known as the Electric Palette, uh, also known as the color you, Colors You Crave. So today I'm just going to do like a quick little review, kind of, but not really, and then just do a few swatches from the palette. So when you open up the box, you get a little booklet like this, same as in the first palette. It just gives you, like I said, the information about the company and the founder right here. And uh, information about the looks that you can do with this palette. So that includes the playful look, the bold look, and the sultry look. So when you take the palette out the box, it looks like this. Um, you open it up and you get this big mirror like that. And then you have these nine shades right here. So for those of you who don't know, these are Makeup Forever's new artist shadows. Uh, they completely reformulated all their eyeshadows with this new formula in this palette. So the shadows are now like a gel to powder form. And they're honestly like the best, 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 best eyeshadows like period like period for those of you who don't know uh these eyeshadows in this palette are not full size however they are very similar in size to a standard eyeshadow so what i'm going to do is show you a standard eyeshadow and just hold it up so you can compare the size right here i have an anastasia beverly hills eyeshadow in the color sienna i'm just going to hold that up to one of the shadows in the makeup forever artist palette just so you can see the size so it appears that this shadow is like a tiny, tiny bit bigger than this one. Well, actually, these shadows in this pan are about 0.06 ounces. And this eyeshadow right here, which is about the standard size of an eyeshadow, is 0.059 ounces. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a full-size Makeup Forever Artist eyeshadow and just compare it to the sizes in this pan. So right here is one of the Makeup Forever Artist Shadows in M548. And I'm just going to hold that up and compare. So this eyeshadow right here is uh, 0.07 ounces, whereas the one in the palette is 0.06 ounces. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to swatch about um, three or four, possibly five, of the shadows from this palette on the back of my hand just so you guys can see the pigmentation. These really are really pigmented, like just like a little touch will definitely transfer product to your finger, like no doubt. So yeah, I'm just going to show you um, on the back of my hand. Before I do the swatches of these shadows, I'm just going to uh, read off the shadow numbers for you so you can guys get an idea of which color is which and etc. So this shadow right here on the top corner is I872. This shadow directly below it is ME910. This shadow right here on the bottom is S924. This one right up here at the top is D552. The one directly here in the middle, this blue shade right here is ME232. The shade directly below it is ME302. The shade right here on this corner is ME512. The shade directly below it in this upper position is ME700. And the shade all the way here on this corner is ME930. And just so you guys know, the um, the letters in front of the shadows or the number uh, let you know about the formulation. So I is for iridescent, D is for the diamond shades. M is metallic, M is for matte, and etc. Out of all the formulas in this palette, um, my favorite has to be the metallic. So the ME shades, I feel like those are a little bit more pigmented and a little bit creamier than the other than the other shadows. Um, my only thing about the palette that I don't like is that it doesn't come with any uh, matte shades, and neither does the number one. So the new palette doesn't as well. Um, I mean, these shades are, like, super pigmented, but it would have been nice just to have, like, a couple of mattes thrown in there, you know? The first shade that I'm going to swatch from the palette is going to be this top middle one right here, and that is in the shade D552. Um, the reason I'm going to swatch that one first is because I heard it sold out online, so, yeah, let's go for it. 
All right, guys, so this is the shade D552. The next shade that I'm going to swatch in the palette is going to be this middle blue shade right here. That is ME232. That is ME232, and that's also a metallic finish. One of my favorite finishes. Alright, so the next shade that I'm going to swatch is going to be this one directly below it. That is this foresty green color right here. Um, that is ME302. And this shade is very, very similar to Max Blue Brown Pigment. Alright, so the fourth shade that I'm going to swatch is going to be this dark pur purple color right here. That is in the shade ME930. Alright, so this shade is ME930 and it's kind of a metallic -y purple color. Alright guys, so the last shade that I'm going to do is going to be this pink shade right here. And that is in the shade ME910. Alright, so there's that pink shade right there. And that is ME910. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please feel free to subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I am new here, so it helps us out.